Good morning, Palmetter staff, families, and friends. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. Hello, I am Lauren Rock, principal of Leo A. Palmetter Junior Senior High School, and I'm very excited to see your child reach this milestone and their start of their journey to high school. It goes without saying that these have been trying and difficult times. All of us have made incredible adjustments and find resilience we could not have anticipated. Nevertheless, this does not take away from your accomplishments. This is to celebrate your perseverance and ability to change course within a short period of time. We are here to honor your success, even though it's not in a typical fashion. To start our program, I would ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce our guests joining me on this virtual ceremony. First, we have our executive director of special education, Mr. Michael Cast. Hello. We have um, our program specialist, Ms. Paulette Abagland. Hi. We have our eighth grade teacher, Mr. Collinsworth. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have our senior class advisor, Mr. Pappas. Good Hello. <laughs> and by the way, we have many of the staff here, your um, Laura Prescott and Maureen Lopp and Chef Hazelton, Alex Bryce, Carlos Cabrera, and all the other staff that are be watching on with you. So eighth graders, today marks a moment of transition. Beginning with this summer and the start of 2021, 2022, you are now entering the, eighth, the ninth grade, your first year in high school. You will be the class of 2025. To this day, not only do you look older, but you have grown in your ability to deal with stressful situations. I have watched so many of you become so much better by learning and demonstrating your ability to make positive choices, whereas once much more difficult. For some of you, we've just watched, we've watched you grow up. Others we met in person starting in April, and that has been so enjoyable to get to know you. You had some great times this year and maybe some tough times, but you did it and you succeeded. You're ready for that next step. I ask you as you prepare for the next step to do a few things, two things. First, for the next four years, take advantage of opportunities. Some of you will continue at Palmeter and some of you will return to your district school. Wherever you land, take advantage of opportunities such as student council, Friday Night Live, and other leadership venues. The purpose of graduation is to turn windows into opportunities. Academically, you wanna build on your academic strengths and participate in the academic bowl, Poetry Out Loud, or SCOE's History Day, or being a student speaker in your classroom or the school. All these opportunities can help prepare you for college and career readiness. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm not sure. Okay, sorry. Never turn around an opportunity and grow and push yourself and build that confidence to go forward in your academic career. Second, I ask you to, this chance to dedicate yourself uh, to make the next year even better than this past year. Remember that you don't have to follow the crowd. You do the right thing when no one is looking. And study hard and remember that you're investing in yourself with every course you take and every book you read. And finally, don't be too big of a hurry to grow up. You've probably heard your parents say that. You don't want to grow up too fast. Don't do that because sometimes you don't want to miss things in life. And there's some great things in life for you. I'll leave you a final note from the writer, Joanna Fuchs. Promotion is a successful ending and an exciting beginning. If you keep on learning, keep on dreaming, keep on doing, you'll travel towards your goals until you get there. Keep up your amazing work, you can do it. So congratulations to the eighth grade class. 
Congratulations to the parents. And finally, congratulations to the staff and everyone else who helped our eighth graders reach this important milestone. And next we have Mr. Collinsworth. Would you come up here? Our eighth grade teacher who has some words of wisdom for you. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to be in front of you today, uh, being able to address you. Um, most of you on the screen that I see, I've got to know, and, and uh, uh, you should uh, be proud of yourself for the accomplishment that, that you made it through, okay? And I want to say great job completing middle school. Okay? Each of you have overcome tremendous obstacles and adversity like few others when they were at this particular point in their life. You have persevered through some extremely difficult times and made it. Please take this opportunity to give yourself a pat on the back and celebrate. The journey is just beginning. During this past year, it may have been easy to lose sight or focus on what's important, and that is your well being. Take this accomplishment and use it as a springboard to continue to achieve both per personally and academically. Remember, if you can make it through this past year, which you did, you can make it through anything. Do your best in school and take advice from elders who have been there. They want to see you succeed and be successful. Make good choices and decisions and always think before you act. Think about the outcomes of your decisions. Don't get down on yourself or even or ever think that you can't do it because you can. You've proven that. This year has proven that Remember, on any task, it is better to try than to not try at all. There are some great examples of famous people who persevered through adversity. Michael Jordan, for example, did not make it through high school or did not make the high school basketball team as a 10th grader. He did not give up, though. He worked harder and became the greatest basketball player of all time. Remember, believe in yourself and try not to get down on yourself when times are not so good. You can think of some of Mr. C's jokes to cheer you up or not. <laughs> you have the ability to do great things and go far. You have proven through these times that you are resilient and have the wherewithal to overcome adversity. Thank you. We have one student speaker today for today's presentation, James Rapanati. Are you ready for your speech? I'm going to unmute you. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. You go ahead. Hi, class of 2021, and all the staff at Leo Palmer. My name is James Arpanati, and before I go any farther, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for helping me get through middle school and all the hard times. Now I will give you a background, background of who I am. I'm someone that got in a lot of trouble in elementary school and in the first year here, year here i started to change very slowly then i got in less trouble and all i can say is that it just takes time so give it time and it will get better and to all the students my advice to you is to find a staff member that you can trust my special education teacher my horticulture teacher my culinary teacher and the rest of the staff at palmander the rest of the Palmer staff are the people I can trust. They helped me get through the last two years here. So just find a staff member you can trust and that you can help, that can help you to get to your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, James. So now, um, you know, our senior class, uh, one of the essay assignments was that they have to write advice 
for the eighth graders going in tonight because they've been through this for four years. So they gave you some advice. And so we have our senior class teacher, Mr. Pappas, who will give you a compilation of all the things that they had to advise you for when you're entering high school. For the class of 2025, let me be among the first to welcome you to high school. You've worked so hard to get to this point of your academic careers and you'd be extremely proud of your accomplishment. Please take a quick second to thank the friends and family members who have helped you along the way. High school is the time when we transform into young adults. Take advantage of these years, be an active participant in your education. Learn all you can learn to ensure that you're prepared for life after high school. There will be a lot of transitions during these years. You will have new teachers, you will make new friends, and yes, the work will become increasingly more challenging. Have no fear. You're surrounded by a tremendous school staff who will be there each step of the way to provide the support you need. We ask graduating students to offer a few words of advice as you embark on your new chapter. First, stay true to yourself. Don't try to be someone that you aren't. Next, surround yourself with friends who will uplift you and not tear you down. And finally, always do your best. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Pappas. Before we award your certificates of promotion, uh, we want to honor students who have excelled in their leadership and hard work. We have two awards um, recommended by your teacher and our CTE teachers, Chef and Mr. Jordan. The first one goes to James Rapanati for your professionalism <laughs> and great work ethic. And we appreciate all you do when you help in culinary. So thank you. Good job, James. The second award goes to Matthew Kirkendall. Uh, both Chef uh -huh. and Miss Loft noted that he is a passion for cooking. He has the greatest work ethic and great citizenship in the CTE class. So thank you. Job, great Matthew. job, Matthew. So now the presentation of certificates, I'm gonna ask Ms. Baglin to say your name. And I think you have some that you can show off to everybody that I gave you yesterday. So make sure you proudly show that off. And once your name is announced, family, you can cheer wherever you are and um, we'll be excited for you. Good morning. Um, so I think I have the best job to announce all of your names. Congratulations. So the first one, we have Matthew Kirkendall. Go, on, Matthew. Go on, Matthew. Next, we have Jessica Mullen Messenger. Go on, Go on, Third, we have James Rapinati. And last we have Ricardo Rincon Castaneda. Thank you. Congratulations. On behalf of Leeway Palmetter Junior Senior High School and the Sacramento County Office of Education, we hereby promote you to the ninth grade. Congratulations and enjoy every moment with your family to celebrate. Congratulations. Congratulations.